Okay, so pretty little thing. I'm about to get super honest with y'all. Let me just say before I start this video, I'm not here to slate pretty little thing. I hate videos that just literally slate other brands because all brands have their bad points and all brands have their good points. But just for me, it's just been one too many things with pretty little thing at the moment. They sent me a random thing that I didn't order. It's um, a grey bow suede skirt in a size 14. I've experienced a few problems with their like customer services and whatnot recently. I still do love Pretty Little Things products. That's the only thing that keeps me shopping there. This is just gonna be a 20 pound and under haul. Everything in this haul is 20 pound and under and they have a lot of discount codes and whatnot going around at the moment as well. So be sure to look out for them. If I have any, by the time this video goes up, I'll be sure to link them down below. The first thing that I picked up, which I absolutely adore, it's just this skirt here. It's in this like checked print that I'm loving at the moment. I've just got so many items in this and it's just got like a cutout detail there which I thought was really cute with like a little buckle there. The only thing is I got this in a size eight and it is way too small. Now this would fit me around the hips once it was on. But I cannot get the waist past my hips. Like it's just too tight. The zip doesn't go down further enough. I have to go and size up with this. I won't be able to try it on and show you, but it is super cute. So maybe um, size up because these come up quite small in my opinion. So the next thing I got is just these leggings here and they're just in this like nude color with this amazing kind of contrast stripe right down it and i think these are like 15 pounds which is really really cool because they're quite a thick legging as well i did get in a size 10 because on the website they just looked a bit short on the models so i was like i want to go up for size just to make sure they fit with the length and they're still quite short but i think that's how they're meant to fit they're not like short like as in a weird kind of short length so they're actually really nice i think they'd look really nice with like an oversized white t-shirt or something with that said i um when i tried these on i did notice this i don't know if you can see there but round the seam there is all frayed and then I looked further up the seam as well the stitching is just quite bad in general on these I just think that's a factory fault with these because I do know I have a friend who's bought some of these and that's where I first saw them like in the other color they have them in like a different color and they look perfect on her they didn't have any of these faults so yeah I just got a pair of factory faults because I think pretty little thing are picking on me okay so the next piece I absolutely love and it is just these trousers here and they're just like a kind of dog tooth print all the way down and they're a flared trouser stretch waist amazing i got these in a size 10 for length 10 are a little bit baggy on the waist now i feel like i can pull it off because they've got this print across it they're super comfortable the perfect dress down kind of trousers and i'm so happy that there was something in here that i was actually really pleased with if you're five foot six or above maybe go up a size just to make sure that you've got the length right because a little flared ankle grazer just ain't for me i do think these are and they're super cute loving them i love how they've got like a bit of like a red accent kind of running through them amazing i then just picked up the cutest bodysuit of all time which is just this um little burgundy and red one i love burgundy and red together i didn't realize until i saw this how well the colors went together and i just love the fact it's got kind of like a black detailing underneath the zip so you can get away with wearing anything black on the bottom a black pair of high-waisted jeans or anything like that i I did just get this in the size eight. I probably could have done with the six only because it's super stretchy. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really like stretchy, fine material. It's not a thick cotton at all. So if you're after a thick cotton, I suggest you don't buy this one. As much as I'm saying that, I still love this and I'm still gonna keep it. Anyone would think I like Pretty Little Thing at the moment. <laughs> I then just picked up a couple of like sweatshirty kind of bits. And the first just being this, which looks kind of crazy like this, but it looks gorgeous on. And it's just this sort of off the shoulder, puffball sleeved sweatshirt dress. Like, and I absolutely adore this. It was like 20 pounds, so worth it. Like, I think that's so worth 20 pounds. That's amazing for 20 pounds. It's a really thick, nice sweatshirt material. I think it would look great with like a camo jacket thrown over and a pair of like nude, like lace up boots, that kind of vibe. I just think there's so many things you can do with this. Great to dress up or down. Be great for like a winter night out as well. That kind of amazing standout dress that everyone is gonna be asking where the hell you got it from. I do have um, a gray sweatshirt on here, which is from Primark. And it's got like this kind of ruched detailing there. But I just wanted a completely plain sweatshirt, a gray plain one. So I did pick up this one from Pretty Little Thing because it was super inexpensive. And I loved the kind of gray on it. This is kind of more of like a gray mile, this one. This is more of like, like a flat matte grey. Kind of looks like a gym sweatshirt, kind of like a vintage 
kind of grey, if you know what I mean. Like, absolutely love the fit of it, the feel of it, everything. Super inexpensive. Little thing, do do the best basics. Seriously, this is going to look amazing with a pair of grey leggings or a pair of grey joggers. Kind of to, like make a two piece vibe, I thought would look incredible. It's super soft inside. I got it in a size small as it's oversized anyway. It fits like a dream. And again, this is going to be in the pile of me keeping stuff. So the stuff I think is a bit 70, 30, a pretty little thing at the moment. But the things that I do like, I love. I cannot believe this next jumper was £10. And like I said, a lot of the time they have like 20% off the site and whatnot. So you can get it for eight. Look at this. It's just a weird little cropped jumper. And it's got like a whole ribbed texture across it. It's a simple plain jumper. I got it in the size medium, but it's just going to go with so much of my wardrobe, like the dog tooth trousers I showed you earlier with like the red accents through them. It's going to go with them. I've got like a red um, vinyl skirt. It's going to go with that. Even in this haul, like every bottoms I've got from this haul goes with this jumper. Like how crazy is that? There's definitely a theme of red going through my wardrobe, but it literally goes with everything. And for 10 pounds for a knit, it's a really nice knit. It's not itchy. I have tried it on. Really, really good, pretty little thing. Like, yes, loving that. Then I just picked up this little number, which is just this off the shoulder, like burgundy flared sleeve, like kind of crop little bralette thing. And I did get it in size 10, so it's not too restricting around the shoulders. And even though kind of like a bardo effect isn't usually something I'd go for with autumn, these colors and these stripes, I just had to get it. Like seriously, I there was no way I was like making an order and not buying this. The only thing I would say is like the bodysuit, it is in that kind of thin jersey kind of material, that pretty little thing love to use. So if you don't like that material, then that is not for you. It is a bit more of like a cheaper alternative and it does look slightly cheaper than if it were a thicker cotton but if you don't mind things like that then definitely get your hands on one of these as well because the color is just amazing so autumnal so cool so cute so 90s so many things you can do with this and say about it but yeah definitely go and put your hands on one of these because they're super cheap as well just trying some things on and i just realized i also picked up these um little cat eye sunglasses you can't really see because the bloody labels there but um yeah, I picked up these little cat eye sunglasses. I thought they were like the perfect autumn sunglasses because we still do have sunny days. I look ridiculous. But yeah, I picked up these and I also picked up a hat, which I'm gonna show you now. Also forgot to talk about. So it might be looking hella weird right now, but I also picked up this little Baker Boy hat. I'm obsessed with Baker Boy hats and I feel like the whole world is. And this one from Pretty Little Thing was so inexpensive. I feel like 12 or 15 pounds. And yeah, I only forgot to show you it because I had it packed away because I'm going away tomorrow and I'm literally like living in it. It's great for like windy days as well. Yeah, if you're into Baker Boy hats, I suggest you get one from Pretty Little Thing. Their accessories are important at the moment. I'm not even gonna lie. So yeah, that is it from Pretty Little Thing. So I'm about, I did say 70, 30, but probably about 80, 20% kind of convinced with like the products there. I feel like the cotton items could definitely do with improving in quality, like kind of moving away from that stretch jersey material into a bit more of like a thicker stretch cotton, I think would be amazing. And then obviously just the quality on them leggings was just off. And then obviously the experience that I've had to get these products was just not there. So I just wanted to say with Pretty Little Thing, I love Pretty Little Thing's clothes. I love the brand itself. I think what it stands for and the clothes that it does are so original, so unique but their customer service is awful. We all need to be signing some sort of petition to get their customer services like back on track. Comment down below what your favorite pieces were as well. Comment down below how you are, what you've been up to, what you've been doing. Seriously guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, that would be absolutely amazing. Like the video if you wanna like the video and of course my Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter and all of that is at Sarah Jo Holder. Sarah Jo Holder. Thank you so, so much for watching guys. I love every single one of you.